Let's talk about the books from the series The Adventures of Erast van Dorian. The Winter Queen was the first of Akunin's novels from this series and his first attempt to write a retro detective story. What is a retro detective story? Actually, there, is a lot, there are a lot of books which combine detective story with historical novel. Such cases are abundant in the history of Russian literature and especially in the history of European and American literatures. But the genre of uh, retro uh, detective story, which appeared in Russia in 1990s, had its peculiar features. Uh, by the way, the first writer who tried to create it was not Akunin. It was less known but very good author Leonid Yusefovich, who has created three books about the detective Ivan Putilin. Putilin was a real man, a historical figure. He was a famous St. Petersburg police investigator at the end uh, of the 19th century. These stories by Yusefovich were even adapted for the screen, but their success was incomparable with Akunin's. Only Akunin's first novels from Van Doren series became the model for this genre. What is the difference of Freighter detective story from other uh, kinds of crime stories? Uh, first of all, the action in such novels is embedded into the past, usually not very distant one. Uh, in Akunin's case, it's the end of the 19th century and beginning of the 20th century. Uh, by the way, the secret of his success lies partly in the wish of the readers uh, in 1990s to get relaxed by reading about comparatively calm times. Many people had an impression that the calmest years in Russian history were the reign of the Emperor Alexander III. Uh, he reigned in uh, 1881, 1894 when there were no wars at all. Uh, actually, it is not quite true, but nevertheless, Akunin had deliberately created such an illusion. Another feature of the retro detective story is that this genre is partly a stylization of the pastiche, uh, or the pastiche of literature of the past. Uh, not only the heroes speak 19th century language, but the author himself is trying to imitate literary style of the 19th century classics like Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, Chekhov or Leskov. And finally, the retro uh, detective story is an ironical genre. Although its action is going on in the past and the text is full of quotes from the classical literature, uh, but it also hints on contemporary events and persons. Even the first critics of Akunin's Van Doren novels have recognized such hints in his descriptions of the rule of the Moscow governor Dolgoruki, Vladimir Dolgoruki, at the end of the 19th century. Uh, on the, uh, hints on the rule of the Moscow governor Yuri Lushkov at the end of the 20th century. Van Doren's series, from the very beginning, uh, was supported, to, uh, supposed to embrace, embrace like, all kinds of the criminal fiction. Uh, the genre designation, a retro detective story, is just an indication of general frame, framework of history, combining with crime story. But inside this frame, a lot of variants are possible. The novel we are going to talk about, The Winter Queen, uh, is a conspiracy mystery or a story about the plot for world domination. Uh, the second novel, The Turkish Gambit, uh, tells the story of a Turkish spy during the russia russo turkish War uh, in uh, 1877. Next one, The Murder on the Le Leviathan, is a closed setup mystery. Van Doren has to find out the criminal from the narrow circle of suspects traveling from England to India on a steamship. Next one, the death of Achilles, uh, is a hired uh, assassin mystery, hired assass assassin, sorry, mystery, and it's a different type of story. The main interest here is the pursuit and final battle between the criminal and the detective. 
After that follows a book which combines two novellas under the common title, title Special Assignments, containing two contrasting stories. First, the Jack of Spades, about the confident man who do not kill anybody and even do not harm anyone too much. And second is the thriller or horror story of a maniac of uh, Russian Jack the Ripper called The Decorator. Next one was The State Counselor, a political mystery about the revolutionary terrorism uh, of the late uh, 1880s. And The Coronation is a high society mystery where the last Russian Tsar Nicholas II is blackmailed by an international super uh, gang of super villains, reminding, and the main super villain reminds Professor Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes stories. I recollected Holmes not by chance. Rust van Doren, as every other hero in Akunin's books, is a construction. The author himself has put it in one. Uh, in one of his interviews in the following words. I'm not really a writer. I create engineering constructions. I sculpt on as or assemble ready-made elements. And Van Doren is clearly such a construction made out of ready-made elements. His first source, his first element, is a classical British mystery. And especially, of course, Sherlock Holmes, a private detective with great deductive skills. And Van Doren solves crimes using his deductive method in every novel. But he is not just a brain capable to solve riddles. He is also a superman. He has been studying in Japan and he is a follower of the Japanese ninja, a spy and warrior. Here Akunin's knowledge of Japanese culture helped him very much, of course. Van Doren is an unkillable hero who can operate all kinds of weapons and some mystical martial arts. Uh, you probably remember, remember that Holmes uh, also was good in some baritsu martial art, which did not exist in reality at the moment uh, when Arthur Conan Doyle mentioned it in The Adventure of the Empty House. In Van Doren books, everything did really exist. All weapons and fighting techniques are real. But he has also a third side of his personality. He is a typical representative of Russian intelligentsia, who has all the best qualities of this social group. He can be merciful, but can also be pitiless to the enemy. And there is a fourth side also, which is mentioned from time to time in the novels. Uh, Van Doren is an engineer who studied in America at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and he is able uh, to create or fix a lot of mechanisms. He becomes, for example, one of the first Russian drivers and even invents some additions to the car construction and bumper, for example. He likes all technical novelties very much. Each novel reports about new inventions, telephone, Bertillonage, which was a method of identif identification of criminals, or a typewriter, and so on. Uh, that time was rich for inventions, and everyone believed in progress. So we have an ideal figure of a hero who must cause excitement and serve as a model for the reader, who can identify himself with Van Doren as his super ego. Uh, but there is another feature of Akunin's novels, his interest to history. The hero is not simply plunged into some period of Russian history, as it happens in costume dramas. Akunin knows very well not only the events, but also the everyday life of people in the times he described describes. Uh, he is really rarely mistaken in descri descriptions of interior or street scene. Uh, he knows what caps they drove, what gloves they wore, uh, what did they eat, and so on. But it is not just a description of everyday life. Akunin interprets Russian history, and many novels has, uh, have historical persons as characters. 
uh, but they mostly act under slightly changed names. Instead of General Skobelev, a hero of the Balkan War of 1877-1878, there is General Sobolev. Instead of Grand Duke Alexei, he introduces Grand Duke George, and so on. But the main traits, uh, main features of their characters remain untouched. And Akunin frequently explains historical events by introducing possible reasons. It's the method of the best historical novelists. In Russia, for example, Yuri Tenyanov used to say, I begin where the document ends. It means I conjecture some cause, event or person which are absent from historical documents, but they could be there and they provide a reasonable explanation. Akunin explains negative historical facts from Russian history by the actions of the villains and simultaneously by Van Doren's mistakes. For example, the famous, infamous Khadinka tragedy, a human stampede uh, during the coronation of Nicholas II, which resulted in the deaths of more than uh, 1,000 people. Uh, it is explained in the coronation novel, the criminal Dr. Lind, uh, while covering up his traces, initiated this stampede. In other cases, Akunin could use hi not historical facts, but myths and legends, like the story of above-mentioned a uh, very popular General Skobelev, uh, who presumably wanted to commit a Bonapartist coup d'etat uh, in the year 1881 and was killed by the assassin who was hired directly by the Tsar's family. It is just a legend. No doc documental evidence exists, but Akunin ha has a right to conjecture. And he uses this right all the time. Thank you.